Sebastian, and this is Mrs. Mom's class, and we're running away for Wadney Watt by Helen Lester. Poor Wadney, Wadney Watt. His real name was Rodney Watt, and he couldn't pronounce his R's. To make matters worse, he was a rodent. A rodent. What's your name, Wadney? They asked the rodents. Wadney what? Whispered Wadney. What's another name for a bunny? They asked knowingly. Wabbit, mumbled. And how does a train travel? They winked at each other. A twain travels on twain tracks. Wadney replied miserably. All of this teasing, day in and day out, out made Wadney the shyest rodent in his elementary school. His squeak could barely be heard in class and nod lunch alone. And while the other rodents scurried and scooted about at recess, Wadney hid inside his jacket. Then one day, as rodents were taking turns doing wheelies, a new rodent, a very large rodent, barged in the classroom and announced, My name is Camilla Capybara. I'm bigger than any of you, I'm meaner than any of you, and I'm smarter than any of you. Then she added, So there. That with the... Accidentally, on purpose, elbowed an ear, bumped two noses, and stepped on three tails, and lay down on a desk. Fur prickled in fear through the classroom. She sure was bigger than you. She sure looked meaner than you. Was she smarter than any of them? What's two plus two? Asked Mendo for the worst. Four! Shouted Mac Camellia Capybara, without even bothering to raise her paw. And four... Furthermore, four, four, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, and 243 plus 125 is 368. Later, when Miss Featherworth asked, what's the capital of Camelia interrupted? New York, Albany, population, 295, 594. During science, to the answer to the question, what part of the plant is below the ground? Camellia Capybara danced on her desk and sang, Woo, woo, ready to toot. Yup, thought all the other rodents. She's sure smarter than we are, too. It felt very, very uncomfortable. Every afternoon, just before the final recess, Miss Weatherwolf drew a name from the hat to see who would be the leader of their favorite game, Simon Says. She scrunched her eyes closed and jiggled the hat. Would it be Harry Hamster, Minnie Feet Mouse, Grizzle Fred's Guinea Pig? Could it be Big, Mean, Smart, Camille Capybara? Miss Weatherwolf's paw reached in and pulled out the name of Wadney Wack. The bell rang, there was a wild scurry for the door, and Camilla Capybara was the first one on the playground, having trampled the others in her path. To Wadney, she looked especially scary. What would she do when she heard him speak? Breathe Capybara breath in his face? Or tie him up with his own tail? Or even pounce on him? The tiny trembling leader of the game stood before the ear, player in his head, while inside his jacket, he, and he squeaked. Wadney says, we design. While the other rodents read, P.S. 142, elementary school for rodents, Camilla began pulling up weeds around the sign and wildly, wildly flinging them hither and yon till she was clear up to her teeth in dirt. The other rodents began to smile. Wadney says, 
Wrap your paws around your head. He peeked a little and out of his jacket and saw whap, whap, whappy, slappy, whap. Camilla was whapping her paws around her head so hard she had to get dizzy and get her, gave herself a headache and had to sit down. The other rodents couldn't help giggling. Wadney says, play wing around the woozy. Amelia put her arms like wings and made an airplane noise. But where is the woozy? What was a woozy? By now, Wadney's voice was stronger than his head. Was entirely out of his jacket. Wake the leaves. Nobody moved. Wadney said, wake the leaves. Well, Harry, well, Harry, many feet, and Grizzle Friends, and the others busied themselves raking. Camilla Capberry grabbed one leaf and says, "Wake up!" she yelled, and snatched another. Come on, you! Up, up, up! Another. Rise and shine. Another. Boo! By now, all the other rooms were squealing with laughter. All but Camilla, who frowned stupidly. They won't wake up. And why was everyone laughing at her? Such bullies. And his voice was so strong in his head he held hold his own ears. Wadney called, Wadney says go west. The rodents collapsed into a happy heap for a rest. Go west. Mill top of very feeling very smart that she could tell direction by the sun said, All right, I should go west. And then she added, so there, but she's done forever, but gone. And from that day on, the pupils of P.S. 142 Elementary School for Rose never teased Wadney again. He was their hero. Away for Wadney Watt, they cried. Ooh, 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 ooh. This book is Away for Wadney Watt. And um, they um, a new rodent barred in the classroom, and um, he said, "I'm bigger than you, I'm smarter than you, and I'm meaner than you do." So there. And every recess, um, Miss Featherworth pulled out a name, and um, in science, to the question, um, what um plant. What part of the plant is inside the ground? He says, um, root, root, rooty toot, toot. And then, um, then, um, in science, he said, um, in, um, math, he said, what's two plus two? And, and Camilla interrupted and she said, four. Farther on, Four plus eight, eight plus eight, sixteen, and six, one hundred and one hundred twenty-five plus two hundred forty-two equals um, three hundred and um, fifty-three, I guess. And um, then um, the window was full, pulled out the name Wadney Watt, and. Uh, they went outside and Camilla Capabara was the first one on the playground having trampled the others in her blast, in her path. And um, he said, play wing around the woozy. And Camilla put wings like, air, like an airplane and airplane noises. And then um, she said, um, then he said, um, wake the leaves. And then she then. And little cap of air said, wake up, and ride and shine, boo, up, up, up. And then um, another time, he was like, he was, um, he said, um, he said, um, he's, 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 um, I forget, I forget what else he did, and, um, at the end he said, 
go west. And come out top of there, went west, and all the other shrooms collapsed into a happy heap of no, and they never made fun of him again. In every recess, he hid inside his jacket. Bye.